Alright, I just spun out in a random alternate star. <laughs> Let's see where the heck we are. I think I know where we are. Because the last time I tried this, it was like the same uh, cave. Gotta set up. Uh, let me see. Oh, I like the uh, Warner's clothes. This guy's supposed to be an assassin. But I don't have a, a bow. Well, now what am I supposed to make of that? What am I supposed to make of that? <laughs> it said uh, I was supposed to have a bow. Well, at least I was supposed to be skilled with the bow. Let's take a look on that. Handed archery. Well, hell. I better at least equip my sword. Yep, I've been here before on a random alternate start. And I am not sure. Kind of another thing I want to do is uh, play with no enchanted weapons. No enchanted weapons or items at all. Will I be able to find a bow in this place? I don't think so. Oh! Oh, let's see my difficulty level there. Oh man, come on. Legendary difficulty. I guess I don't have the Creation Club Survival installed in this data folder. You know what? I think I'm dead. But that might be well and good. We'll just start again. save. No, no. Let's start again. do a new start. This is kind of where I'd like to save. Can I even save on this? I'm just going to make him thin, thinner, and go. Now the stealth kit for the assassin. Starting equipment. Bow. Let's see if we can get a bow this time. What in the hell 
happened there. Well, I don't have the uh, Sky UI thing on this uh, setup right now. Alright, I'm learning a couple of things here. yourself don't do that again I still don't have a bow it looks like we're at some dragon camp probably the one Sleeping tree, maybe. I don't even have a phone. I guess I'm dead here again. Let's see what happens if I uh, continue loading the save. Oh, okay. This is where we want to be. Well, I don't know. Where are we going to be able to pop up a new character? I like the guy's outfit. I like the overall look. I just don't have a frigging bow. 
And really, what I want is a, just a regular old longbow. The apprentice stone. Now, where would I get a bow? Come on, man. Help me think. You want a bow. You don't have one. How much money do I have? 49 cents or seconds. I should probably pop on survival mode. The only two mods I have, well I guess, well two, random alternate start now reborn and winter sent face the sky realm. I should probably have the survival mode install that. I am completely ticked off here. I do not have a bow. Uh, I'm going to save this game. We're going to go start again, this time as an archer. See if we can get a bow there. Combat kits. Well, let's go with an archer. Cancel the waiting. Kindness Grove. Well, we have a bow. I do not like this effing outfit though. I mean, this just looks stupid. I'm going back to my other one. Maybe this is where I need to be. I don't want that.
might delete those. Okay, I'm getting a little frustrated. But this time, we're going to go out, we're going to go get ourselves a bow, even if we have to run around and do it. Give me an assassin. Come on, give me a bow. close. Alright, so right now, I'm an assassin without a bow. Now isn't Skyrim so much better than what that friggin' uh, Elden Ring looks like online? I mean, that thing looks like it really sucks. I really need to be on legendary difficulty. You know, it's like when you need a pickaxe or a, a woodcutting axe. You're in a town and you realize you don't know where one is. You know where to get a pickaxe if you need one in uh, Winterhold or Windhelm or any of the cities. Where do I get a bow? Uh, 
Oh, here, I'll get killed and start again. I can't take this. Maybe I'll save it. If I can get the mourners close, <laughs> at least I'll be done with that. I'll be okay. Oh. You know, I should probably have that other thing that went with this. Mod, you know, where you set up your stuff. Actually, I don't want to uh, do that. Assassin. Starting equipment. Bow! Uh, Oh, shoot. All right. I have my mourner's clothes and a bow. Finally, it worked. All right. Except Talos. And we are going to save this. I really don't like the rift area, though. So what, the fifth time was the charm? Imperial bow, iron arrows. Actually, I would have been happy with just a long bow. In fact, I kind of want to play a game with just a long bow, maybe iron swords or Nord, ancient Nord swords, things like that. No enchantments. As an assassin with an archery skill, we got some true shots. Three of them. Not bad. I did save this, right? Alright, let's start uh, playing the game a little bit. Oh, another thing I like, I do not have a gap between my archery pack and my back. Very nice. And I want to find some kind of uh, a backpack mod or something for special edition AE. I don't really like the creation kits uh, backpacks much anymore and the reason why is basically you're the only one 
in Skyrim with the backpack. Now you can't give them, you know, the followers, but I don't really play with that many. I tried to install Wet and Cold on Special Edition, and apparently, I think there's something wrong with it. Anyway, a lot of people say so at the uh, Nexus mod area. Doesn't really play well with uh, Special Edition. Maybe that's wrong. I'm not sure if I had mine going most recently. But uh, I don't really like the Creation Club backpack as much anymore. And I think that the old wet and cold ones actually look better because you could have a small one, you know, and it looks better. So this random alternate start, just horse it around. I chose the, the assassin option. You get a bow and one-handed. I like the mourner clothes and the hood. No space between my archery pack and my back. But the first several attempts, I did not have a bow. So, uh, I finally got a bow. But I would have been maybe a little more happy with the, uh, just a long bow. But I don't really like the rift as much. And I have no creation clips stuff installed yet. Uh, what? Only two mods, basically is the random alternate start reborn and winter sun face the sky rim. Let's go take a look at And this is possibly a mistake right here, playing on legendary difficulty. You know, you get some bragging rights and stuff for doing it on legendary and survival, and I've done a lot of characters with that, going through some of the tougher uh, creation club quests. Dom Fang, Dunk Fang, and Umbra, that whole thing. But I think the most fun is actually on a medium to low setting, on a skill level or difficulty. And more realistic, too, in my opinion. Because I, I think I probably said before if you're on legendary, you could theoretically get killed by an old woman with nothing but a dagger. And you're, you know, wearing armor or something. Now, this could be a problem. I just never really could get into the rift for some reason. Well... Let's test out our skills. I'm going to do a quick save as I'll probably get killed. And if I get killed too quick, you know, I'm going to pop it on an easy setting. Why always grind it out? I should probably stick in uh, the Creation Clubs of Survival Mode. I don't know if I can take this. I'm going to spin out somewhere else and see if I can get the bow and mourners close again. Uh, 
Alright, so I'll just take the basic Nord. Go down and make him kind of thin. You know, thin. So you at least look like somebody who could run across Skyrim. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's go for take five. Stealth. Assassin. See, we're supposed to get a bow with one handed. But I've only got the bow that one time there. Let's see what happens. And where we're going to be. I don't like my outfit. I'd rather have the morning clothes. Hey, I'm a fashionable type assassin. Oh, we got an ancient Nord sword, though. I mean, I kind of like the idea of playing with just basic, basic low-level weapons. You know, Nord. Ancient Nord sword. Maybe just a basic longbow. Certainly no enchanted weapons. And basically, since you're using soul gems of people and animals, I don't know. Is that kind of... I guess I'm going kind of like vegan on that, you know. You don't want to use animals as part of your weapons and shields and stuff. They're souls. They're not going to Sovngarde. They're keeping trapped, you know, in this world, I guess. And what happens after the soul is... Uh, used up in the weapon. What happens to him then? Hey, I can't handle that, man. So, we've at least got our weapon. Let's go in here and see if we can figure out where we are without looking down a map. not after us. Oh, you know what? I bet you I forgot to save here, huh? Shoot. Well, I didn't get a bow, but at least I got the ancient Nord sword. Now, I wish I'd go back to where we're always on the start screen. I had that once, maybe in Old Rim. You know, I think that this is the same character. I'm actually going to save this right here. And I'm going to try spinning out again to see if I can get a, a bow. Because that's primarily what I want. Alright, but where would I get a bow? If you need a bow, and you're just standing right here, where's the closest place to get one? Preferably just a basic uh, longbow. Something simple. Where do you get a bow? When you're in a town, like uh, Windhelm or something, where do you get an axe when you need one? And I don't necessarily like the gap that I can see between my quiver and back. Now maybe if I get a bow, you'll close that up. But I'm not past uh, restarting again just to try and get rid of the pack. Maybe it's because I got myself too skinny. I don't know. A lot of the giants are relatively friendly. So where's the best place right now to pick up a bow? Ooh. Come on, I have over 4,000 hours in the game. And if you need a bow or anything in particular, where would you find it? Real quick. 
whether it's a wood cutter's axe, maybe a pickaxe. Closest bow. And I don't necessarily want to fight for it. I just go in and basically pick it up. I guess river wood. There might be wood laying on a table there. Or am I thinking of something else? Come on, dude. Think. But I don't know if I necessarily like starting in white run area either. Definitely not the rift. I just, I go there, but I just never really like the place. I prefer this, or maybe the forests. I guess we could go up to this, uh, what is it, Fort Greenwood or something. Get in a fight, maybe kill an archer if we're lucky. Which uh, leads me up to point number two. I don't necessarily feel that I have to grind it out all the time on Legendary Difficulty. Usually I play on Expert. We'll see what happens here. And I sure wish I had the Mourner's Clothes. What are our uh, tasks? Investigate Helgen. Well, so we got to go back to Helgen eventually, even on this particular random alternate start. There's a alternate Live Another Life by Art Moore. I like that one probably the least because it puts too much extra stuff in your game. Skyrim Unbound is basically probably my favorite. You can choose pretty much refined, you know, what you're going to start with, down to the weapon spells and even the amount of money. And then random alternate start, which we're on right now, is kind of fun too. But in Old Rim, this also came with uh, another companion mod by the same guy that where you can set up your character. This just starts you somewhere, but your companion... I mean, the companion mod. Your character, you can fill him up. Got hit by a dragon. The, the way you want it. We'll be ready. I don't think there's a bow in this place. Brigands I can handle. But this talk of dragons? The world's gone mad, I say. And my ears are plugged and ringing. I, I can hardly hear even through this uh, headset. Okay, Dad. Guess we were over there at the right. giant camp. So the character is supposed to be a an assassin. Now playing a mod such as yeah, Random Alternate Start, hard. the thing about that is, is I don't know how long anybody can play, you know one character. I don't know if seriously you'd go through the whole game, you know, on your start. Because it's kind of fun just to keep popping out new characters and locations. See where you are, see what you can do. But as I said, right now my quest is to find a bow. I don't think I'll be able to afford one, which is 29 Septum. Potions. Now, last time, I had three potions of True Shot. So without getting into a fight with an archer somewhere, where can we pick up a bow? You have no money, where can you find one?
Well, there's Ayla. Oh, is the dragon over? Blood on the wind today. Good hunt ahead of us. Well, looks like these guys are just leaving town. Is the dragon over here? I mean, the giant disturbing the farm. Oh, it sure is. All right, now Ayla and everybody's behind us. That can't be them over here, right? In two separate places. Get a couple of hits so at least we can say we did something good. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, brother. What's that? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Sounds like a waste of time. Well, nobody asked you. See, I got an F with her a little bit. We'll talk to Codlash, White Mane. See what a warrior of true metal is like. Now, as a true Nord, I'd consider wearing ancient Nord armor. Oh, come on. Wrong key. Which I understand if you she's wish to wearing. Hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your I eyes don't think quicker. that mine would look that good, though. Well, got a couple of arrows. Alright, so I'm back to the other thing. Let me do a save here, actually. Although, on a, I guess we're on expert level. Probably won't get killed as fast. Alright. A bow. So I'm going to... Well, I was going to run into town, but then I wanted to see if the, dra uh, the giant was going. And it was, so we got that quest down. All right, two uh, goals as we're coming into uh, White Run. See, I don't have the universal patch on because that uh, torch, excuse me, is uh, out. But you know, the, everything in town doesn't have to be working perfectly. Some things would naturally be out from time to time. So let's go in here and see if we can just find a longbow or anything. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. All right. All right. Two things. We'll One, we'll can we just pick up a bow somewhere? I just can't fill an order Not time. necessarily stealing it, although we might since my character is an assassin. And two, what if we want to chop some wood to make money? You know, sell it to uh, the innkeeper? Where do we get a woodcutter's axe? Have it your own. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Well, let's go in here. Do I recall a bow sitting on his counter, maybe? Oh, yes sirree. But I don't know how we'd steal that without getting thrown in jail. And I think if we did and got thrown in jail, I think they'd probably take it, right? Well, there's one potential. Janessa, probably my Blade first companion when I started the game death. so long ago. These are my arts. For a modest fee, I'll make great art for you. But I'll tell you, that white run stable horse, the black one, that's probably my oldest and dearest and longest used companion.
Now, I don't think there's an axe laying around. Now, there is in Riverwood, of course, a couple of them. Yeah, we need an axe. So if you're coming into town, you got to make some money chopping wood where you get your axe. Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed for the day. No, nah, man, I actually would like to marry you. So I can learn the merchant's trade. My Argonian, I actually married uh, Viola from uh, Wintel. She's a pretty fine wife. With his voice. Well, shouted him apart. I couldn't move into her house they say there's nothing because I had kids and there's no kid to. beds in there so that didn't work well, out. So let's go up to this other chopping block. I ain't done there's no axe laying around. I need trinket for your good lady. Where are we going to get an axe to make some money? I bet you never thought of that before, huh? Where's the wood chopper? Can we even pickpocket him for an axe? Oh, now, maybe we could go into the companion's place and steal, what is it, some kind of a dwarven crap bow or elven from, uh, I think, her, uh, well, the display case. So where's the guy that's normally out here chopping wood? I just want to see if we can pickpocket him, although I'm pretty sure we cannot. I probably tried that. Oh, look at this! But only a 17% chance to steal. I don't know if this guy's always going to have his bow. Maybe because he goes out, I guess, and hunts, you know, his meat to sell here at the stand. Yeah, that would be nice if we could uh, maybe get a higher percentage, you know, to steal that. So that's a possibility. All right, some kind of a bow and a woodcutter axe. That's our goal. Let's go in here and see if there's a bow laying around somewhere. Come or an on. axe. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. If it's work you need, I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling me into Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? You know, Isolda is basically the same character as the gal in the inn at the Dragon's Bridge. Looks the same, same voice, and they had the same plan, basically. To our own a business or an inn. If it's worth, fine. When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Okay, come on. I don't think there's going to be a bow in this place. Sadia, dear? Yes, Mom? I don't see I an axe you know, laying around. Lots of, spades. of course, Mom. The security in White Run is terrible. Shameful is what I mean, by the time you get here, or in any, you know, major city, you've already got some weapons and armor and whatever you think you're going to need. But you don't usually come into a town and need something and have no idea where you're going to get it. If you don't have the money to go buy it. Now I'm not sure what a, a longbow costs. 
we'll go take a look maybe and uh, see what the price is. But we don't even have a woodcutter axe to go make some money. If it's work you're looking for, Hilda's the one to talk to. to steal. Let's go see what Bell of Thor's price out of bow is. is on chose his side and he chose Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Oh, here's the guy. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. This is the guy that's out there chopping wood here in town. But he doesn't even have a woodcutter axe. Just pickpocket. I mean, I've tried that before. He didn't. Everything's for sale, my friend. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Do they say sell woodcutter axes? Hmm. Do come back. This isn't going too well. Probably the Drunken Huntsman is the best place to buy a bow. I mean, the most likely to have one. Let's go see what the Iron Maiden has first, though. There's a rift here in Skyrim. Can't meet the magic motor. Has enough time. There's a I fine a lady. Time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I don't care if she is a drug dealer. They say there's nothing a Nord woman can't do if she puts her I'm mind to it. I'm forgiving. Well, I'm a simp or a cuck or something. I don't know. Welcome to War Maidens. Now, don't let the sale. the finest weapons and armor. Weapons. Hunting bow. Well, 151, and I have 29 gold. Pickaxe. I don't know if I've ever actually seen a woodcutter axe for sale. Good doing business with you. But then you never really think about things like that until you need one. Well, let's try the guy at the last shop here. Oh. Yes. Ah, hello, my Nord friend. Bows and arrows for the mighty huntsman. Hunting bow, 151. Long bow. Yeah, I take a long bow. In fact, I kind of wanted to start with just a basic bow. And just see how far you can get with just a basic bow and a basic, you know, cheap sword. 91. Now here's where a pickaxe, I mean a woodcutter axe, might come in handy. Thank you very much for your business. So right now it looks like my only option is to steal one. Or to leave town and run around and look for something else. Can we go into the uh, settling in. A house for guard some. barracks? Well, they have something to steal. We can steal from the guards without feeling too bad. Oh. A little late here. But I have been up all night as usual. I trust you're not planning any trouble. Because I live by night you, and sleep by day, and that's no uh, crap.
Now, would they have a prisoner's chest in here that maybe would have something in it? How can I help a brother north? Helgen. Destroyed by a dragon. Well, go out there and Hard take care believe, of it. Isn't it? Why is it us that always has to go take care of the dragons for the most part? And why do we start basically as the weakest character in the game? Don't we have a backstory to where we're a trained warrior, anything like that? A born trained killer? Come on. I guess we could try and steal enough money to go buy that longbow. Imperial bow. Now this is 10%. This is less than the guy outside at the stall. Same thing. Let's see, where am I? Do I have to go through the Dragon's Reach to get down into the prison area to where the guards might have a prison chest? I mean, is there a bow just laying around? Just laying around anywhere in town? I'm not going to get through there. Ah, 34. Well, we're up to 63. Oh. I just noticed a lever. Will that open the door? Well, there you go. And I think maybe we can get up here and get to the prison chest. Well, we'll take some salt. Empty. Evidence chest, empty, of course. Of course it's going to be empty for us. All right. I don't normally like first person view except for archery, but it does have its uh, uses. do a quick save before I get killed and lose all this.
clean. Seventy-six dollars uh, gold. Keep wanting to say dollars. Now I'm looking to see if there's a way through here. Okay, here I am, bound in the sewers of the city. Looking for a bow. And after that, a pickaxe. Or a woodcutter axe. How do I get through here? Right, am I even going to find my way out of here? Here I feel a little bit that I'm in the rift and uh, warrants or rat way. Alright, let's get out of here. What's the way out? Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. 50% chance to steal. Should I try it? Well, that was a mistake. I saw that. A fight. What's he gonna do? Kill me? Well, I have his key, don't I? Maybe I could run out of here and come back and get my equipment out of his store. I mean, the guy's trying to kill me. I'll let you live this time. Except for I guess I'm a person of ill repute now. Let me save it. I was thinking of finding the guy where he sleeps, you know, that was on the outside stand, meat stand, and maybe pickpocketing his, uh, bow. Hey. Hey, dogs. Lay down, Wendy. All right. Uh-oh, here comes a guard. No, I want to keep the key. Will I ever be able to go back into the city, though, without being arrested immediately? I mean, how can I get into Bellathor's store now? Probably would have been better off if I just have stayed in the city running. No, I don't want to. I don't want to stop. By order of the yard, I command you to halt. Pump quietly or face the yard. Can I get back into the city? Seize your weapons and come quietly. All right. Right now, my goal is to get into Bellathor's shop. I think I have his key.
Well, these guards let me... Come on, let's go. I think that was Bellathor there. Oh, dude. There's a guard still after me, man. Well, I thought I had the key. I guess I did not get his key. All that was for nothing. And I got this guard after me. All right, let's get thrown in jail. Maybe we can uh, you have committed crimes against Skyrim and come out of that place with the bow. Submit. I don't want to pay. Well, maybe I'll have to pay gold. You're going to rot in the Dragon's Reach dungeon. I'm not even sure what we're in for. Because I didn't get his key. Oh, we got some ragged robes. That's cool. Now, why would they allow that, uh, prisoner to have uh, any money. No, I'm not going back down there. I don't want to go in here and start the whole Dragonborn thing going. Yeah, I don't want the dragons flying around for quite some time. Come to town and you kind of get sucked into that. So again, my quest is to find a bow and maybe a Woodcutter axe to make some money. Disrespect the Lord, disrespect me. Alright, does that guy at the stand sleep in here? Or the other place where his brother well, went shop? Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. If it's work you're looking for, Hilda's the one to talk to. Are you married? You look the type. Make sure you treat your wife with the respect she deserves. God, that's what my wife tells me all the time. Nazim, does he have something to steal? Can we get it? Winter Sand Manor, isn't that a manor that doesn't really exist? You little... Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have done that. What are they going to do? Start killing me? They're not going to arrest me? God. Get out of here. Your end draws near. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? 
Ah, oh, man. Take me to jail. You're going to rot in the Dragon's Reach dungeon. I have no keys. They were taken, apparently. Trouble? Well, we initially did have the key to his farm. Need supplies? See Bellator at the store. Cause trouble in White Run. I'll call you. Need a blade? Talk to Adrian. I work for Bellator. I don't care working for Bellator. Where's your uh, wood cover Maybe axe? Some other time I will be your destiny. Oh, that's not Bellator. Ooh, baby trepanning. <laughs> Maybe this is him. Hunting bow. 18% chance to steal. What do you think you're doing? Well, we got a bow. Can we get out of town with it? You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? I just want a run, man. Come on, go! React! Come on, baby. Oh, no. Wow. Talos has abandoned me. Might as well steal a horse. What do we have to lose? I guess being a thief now, we might as well head to Riften, huh? He's still after me? Probably. Now hold it. I thought I had the bow. Just like I thought I had Bellathor's key. I guess the guard takes them pretty quick as soon as they start talking to you. So I've got a, probably a bounty on my head. I don't even have anything to show for it. Oh my. Let's go to the Riverwood. So I think the thing I learned here, in White Run, there's not really a bow laying around that you can just pick up, or even a woodcutter axe to go make some money to buy a bow. And I'm pretty sure there's a bow in a riverwood. I will go see. And I know there's a woodcutter axes. Oh, look at they're after me. I should uh, free that guard. I mean the captured POW. In fact, you know what? Since we're going to be a storm cloak, we're going to take out these people. We're not going to put up. Come on. Come 
Ah, uh, this is too hard, man. What am I on? Expert? We're going down. I'm going to novice. We're going to get over this, hopefully. I mean, they take these prisoners in for interrogation slash torture slash death. Kill them all. I guess I have a bounty on me now, but let's see if one of these SOBs have a, a bow. Here we go, a bow. It's an imperial weapon. But uh, we'll take it because my character, you know, was once in the Imperial Legion. And then became a Stormcloak with the great Ulfric. Typically, I don't loot everybody of their uh, clothing. But we don't care about these guys. Alright, so right now... Where did, oh, there's the prisoner. I was going to set him free. Now, he'll probably attack me, too, for being a thief or the murderer. Free and share items. All right, so we'll give him a bow. A sword. We'll give him a couple of arrows. You know any true son So we have some arrows. So let's continue on to Riverwood just to see on my theory, if there is a bow laying around to pick up. I better do a quick save at least. Well, that was a pretty uh, good thing. You killed three Imperials leading off a Stormcloak POW who were trying to kill us. our wolf. We got some loot. We got our bow. Now in the future, while we're with this character, how often are the guards going to come after us? Riverwood. And are they going to come after us here, even? Alright, so there's our woodcutter racks. One of them right there on the table. Let's see. Wasn't there another one around here somewhere? Maybe I'm not thinking straight on that. Where's the place that where there was like a longbow just laying on the table? Maybe in Fandel's house. I don't think there's one here.
Well, we're back in Riverwood. Or we're in Riverwood for the first time in this play. Still haven't found a bow that you can just pick up without, you know, violence or fighting somebody for it. Or even a wood axe in White Run that makes some money to buy a longbow. Little things like that. Maybe never would come to mind. Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. All right, she's yours. Well, I think I'm going to stop it right here and call it a night. Maybe I'll pick up this character again just to find in White Run. Is there a place to pick up a bow or an axe? I don't think so. Maybe we'll have to do that for all the major towns, you know. You know, people make videos, you know, what can you do in such and such city? Where can you pick up a bow and a woodcutter axe without violence or stealing in various cities? All right. <laughs> okay. This is going up to YouTube. Uh, Stephen out. See you next time.